Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017. Welcome back to Be Terrific's continuing coverage of CES 2017. I am Jason Aaron, and now we are checking out uh, a company that deals with uh, our very own Adam Hulse's favorite technology, and that is VR and 3D and uh, just sort of getting your head into another space. Uh, Shenzhen Virtual Reality, we're here. Uh, a couple amazing products that we went over. Uh, this is, we're going to start, we're going to start with the future, because why start with the now? Uh, talk to us a little bit about the headset uh, that you're holding here and, and what it can do. It's actually a future product that we have, like a building based on the current model, the, S, the Boober S1. You can see that's a dev camera in front. It can do the gesture, hand gesture recognitions. And I'm, I'm going to show you in a demo how it's going to work. You can make use of it to do applications, to do simulations, to do trainings. And that's very fun. So it really is the future because, you know, this technology has certainly evolved. I mean, obviously you have... Uh, you know, first you have to shoot the content yeah. or create the content. Yeah. Then you need ways to view the content. So this headset, uh, you know, one of the sort of futuristic ways to be in VR space now is that you can use your hands and your feet. Yeah. Uh, but right now you need controllers to do that. So this is sort of eliminating the controller by using the cameras. Not just that. It's, it's elimin eliminating the controller, also using a hand to do all the input. Also, this is going to be the mixed reality product. So VR and AR together is the mixed reality. So before we do the demo, I mean, talk a little bit about your company and sort of how you exist. Obviously, you sell these headsets directly, but, you know, how do you integrate with other technologies? You mean other technologies like... Uh, other companies. Oh, other companies. So actually, the company was seen, uh, found in 2013. So this product is actually going to be our fourth generation product. So uh, back in 2014, we have the first goggle come out in the market. And this year, we have the, uh, I mean, 2016, we have a goggle with uh, more than 2K... Uh, resolutions and also with the controllers and this next generation product is going to take out the controller and it's going to be like a mixed reality possible all right i mean i gotta see it we, we could talk about it all day but i'm going to go ahead and put these on right now and so just sort of talk me and tell me tell me what to do how to do and let's do it as a tutorial that you can see as a robot in front of you you can it's going to teach you how to play with the uh your hands just put it on i can you have to step a bit over here, yeah. You see, that's a robot in front of you. I the see him. Yep. Okay. Put your put your both hands in front of the camera. Yeah. Now you see your hands. Okay. And then you're gonna put put pin on. Yes. Pin on the square, the, the cube. Then you're gonna make you be able to make the cube. The both two hands make together. No, no. The, the thumb and the uh, index finger. You see? Ah. ah. You're making a cube. And release it. Okay. You can make another one. Just like this. And the size is subject to what size you want to make it to be. Wow, so I could throw it over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a little one, put it down right there. And you can build a uh, fortress using all this kind of cubes. And you can change the shape of the, uh, of the, of the subject. Okay, okay, you see? So how do I change the shape? Okay, open up your left hand. Open your left hand, see? Ah. Yeah, now you, where see, you let's are. Let's make one of these guys. Right, hexagon. Okay. Rectangle. Rectangle. Right. Three. Right. Here you go. Here you go. Another one. Yeah, you're building up a bridge. Cool. Yep. Okay. Now you're back on the cube. Oh my you, God. Yeah. You are pushing them. You really are pushing what them. What is happening right now? Yeah. This is. This is nuts. All right, so what else can we do? Okay, look at the, look at the robot. Look at the robot. Look at the robot, yes. And hold up your hands. Okay, and now you use the thumbs up. Thumbs up, yes. Okay. Just one, one, one thumbs up. Using one thumb up, yes. What's next? So now he's Okay, you can open up your hand. Open up both hands and lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're eliminating the gravity. You're eliminating the gravity. Wow, so now everything's oh, hands floating. Down. Hands down. Hands down. Back. Again, one more time. Hands down. Yes. Okay, here you go. Here you go. You see, you're picking it up and you're leaving it down. Down you go. Yeah, it's, it's down already. Come on, my friend. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm like playing God here. This is incredible. It is.
So this is really, this is truly amazing technology. And you don't, I mean, I'm sure you guys saw the monitor. I don't know if you get a sense where you really feel like you're, you're controlling these shapes. Yes. Uh, you're, you know, the size, the gravity, the, the distance that you throw at the depth. Yeah. Uh, this is unbelievable. The imagination that you, you can make a lot of things by moving this kind of functionalities. Or if you're an artist, not like me, who just makes squares and piles them up till they fall down. You're right. So that will be the future. <laughs> what I mean, what else is the sort of the future based on this, you know, technology? What what else can you do with this? Well, that depends on how you want it to be applied. For example, as you as you said, if you are an artist, you can make use of this to do a hand painting. If you are like a teacher, you can make use of this of this to teach a, a kid how to do a drawing, how to build an architecture, how to how to uh, write a letter, things like that. That's unbelievable. Uh, let's go take a walk over there. Let's see what the, the current products that you guys have out now. Okay, this is what you see, the same, almost the same goggle. This is the current model, the Burber S1, and it goes with uh, a pair of like uh, controllers and a camera. It do the uh, motion tracking, positional tracking, by using this camera, capturing the position of your head and the hands, and then they can do interaction between the user and the game. By capturing those IR signals, then the camera, not the computer knows where is your head, your, the position of your head. Same thing applies to controllers. You can tell where, it, where are your hands. That's why you can provide the positional tracking. And that's the uh, a trendy thing, that you can create games, seeing that kind of like FPS games, by having this kind of functions. Amazing. Yeah. All okay, right. here we go. With two hands, you can holding a gun on your left hand and holding a shield to protect yourself in your right hand. Now he's shooting some kind of aliens. You have to swap. Uh, make sure you protect yourself. No, just... Okay, so you have to protect yourself using the shield. And you're shooting those flying objects in the, in the air. And they're also shooting you. You have to... Oh, you were, you were shot. You see? You got shot. Okay, again. Keep going. You got 50 marks. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, then you got another 50 marks. Make it 100. Now it's a 300 now. Okay. More to come. Okay, here we go. Another one. Yeah, another 75. Oh, 650. Not bad. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, here we go. 725. Yep, yep, yep. Seeing those five objects coming? Yeah. You make the best use of a shield. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, that's a good game. very good game. Okay, ooh, lots of people coming. Lots of visitors. Oh, good catch. Again, wow, 1,000 points. Oh my god. Oh, more than 1,000 now. Okay, wow. Oh, you, you got shot. Sorry, man. You got shot again. <laughs> okay, game over. 1,050, not bad. Very good. So this is an interactive games that we, uh, we can play with the current model, the Bruber S1. So the people, they have our, our devices, they can find a game on Steam platform, they can play with it. And that works just like a Google Play or iOS store or something like pretty that? Much the same, pretty much the same. As a Steam is the, uh, a platform for all the, all the games, that they can find some VR games on the platform. Amazing, I mean, I'm gonna stick around here for a little while, maybe kill some more Space Invaders, and we're gonna send it back to Central Hall where Michael and Andrea are standing by CES 2017. Be terrific. Thank you so much. This was a lot of fun. We're heading back upstairs. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017.